Yeah, can you get the ball though? Because I missed the first one. Oh, I was trying to make good hard contact. I was trying to make good hard contact. I was trying to make good hard No, I was um, I just went up there to make good, good hard contact. Uh, I didn't know what pitch. I was fastball slider. Right. He throws almost everything hard, so I didn't know what what to expect. I was looking for the ball. And just to make good hard contact. That's really all it took in that situation to get the ball by the infield. Mm -hmm. Probably might be a three run homer. You think that's gonna that's gonna play out? And they score, you score. I mean, you know, what the hell is going on in this game? Well, I don't know. Is that that's the weirdest one? Like Doc said, the weirdest game he's ever seen. And I myself, you know, we, we kept fighting back, and it was kind of disappointing. But then we came back in, and we knew if we got the guys on base, we wouldn't be in the game. It was just one of the. They knew they were going to score. They could score, and we knew we could score. But it just turned out. Boy, it could have been the winning end of that kind of game. Yeah. I didn't expect that to go out either. Really? Whoever gets that one second left on the clock. Yeah. Like one of those nights you know they're going to make it. You know, just reel it. That was a lot tougher play than the left team up in the press box. Was he was there in time? It, it, it has seemed as though he was there. You know, the ball bounced over Logan said, and Bobby made a good play to get to the ball. And he was just trying to get the ball to us as quick as he could and just kind of got tied up. He was on the run, so I always said, that kind of, when you're like that, it, that's a lot tougher play than it appears. Anybody say anything when they scored the two and you guys came back in here for your last lifts in the tenth up there? Yeah. Did anybody say anything in the dugout? Do you remember anybody said anything or did you say anything or back or? No, we just said, well, let's do it again, you know, one more time. And, you know, get, some, get a couple guys on first and we'll do the rest. We'll get the, we'll get the guys in. But it was funny, Chico Walker, I was kidding him, you know, he comes up all the time and he he drove in the run or whatever. And I said, I said you always come up and seem to hurt us here in the late innings. And whatever, and he said, you get up next inning? And I said, um, I said, probably not, you know, I'm be about six or seven dollars away or something like that. And um, it just turned out, you know, like I got the hit and I went, ran by him and he said, he said, I thought you told me you weren't getting up. Humphrey's <laughs> <laughs> ball was a real bad hop on single. Yeah, it, was, it was a hit ball. It was hit hard up the middle or whatever. We got a break and it took a bad hop and it's really what ball does. It's a real good short stop. That would have been a double play ball on the money. Next come. End of everything for us. Go ahead, John. Go ahead. Yeah, we get you. You took, took your hat back up to the end. You see a shadow on your face there. Did you see some of my eyes and everything? Yeah. Uh, how bad about this when all that? Go ahead. Yeah, I guess there's been as exciting games here at Silver Stadium, but none as weird. This was an unusual game, wasn't it? Yeah, it, it ranks as one of the, the weirdest I've ever seen, whatever. It just kept seesawing back and forth and really never knew who was going to win that game. Was this one of the highlights, would you say, of your professional career right now? Well, this has got to rank, you know, way up there. Oh, the three home run game I also hit this year probably is my best thrill. But coming up in situations where I can help the ball club and in the question where I got to get a base hit, um, that definitely kind of makes, you know, that makes the, makes the day right there. Cal, if you would, tell our viewers, uh, what exactly did you hit the uh, last time up in this, this time of year? Um, the time before I hit the 3 one homer in the ninth, it was a slider from um, like a 2 1 count. And he really has good stuff or whatever, and he just left the slider on the plate that time. And I was fortunate to get the pitch, and I hit it when I had the chance. Last time up, it was a fastball, it was kind of low and over the plate. And I just wanted to get the good part of the bat on the ball, and it kind of jumped. Again, congratulations. Oh, you're super great. Thank Actually, you. hit that home run for me, John. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I bet. Yeah. 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 Anyway, just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hope you don't want to sign on these. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry,
Sam, a couple reasons to come out here tonight. First of all, it's just a beautiful night for baseball in Rochester, New York. Second of all, men of the Orioles, of course, 19 on the roster of former Red Wings, including the man standing right to my right, Terry Crowley, now with the parent club of the Baltimore Orioles. Terry, play some change much, doesn't Silver Stadium? Not really. You know, you'd be surprised. We come back once a year, and we see, we see the same faces. Uh, a lot of nice, friendly people here. And, uh, place that I really enjoy playing my early baseball. Here's something that's gone through the court system once, and we're already on that one. The owners have had their way for a hundred years, and we've had our way for five or six. Mm -hmm. It means they owe us about 94, 95 years. Okay, fine. Thanks a lot. In your group. Thank <laughs> you. 
got Pete Sunday over there in uh, Baltimore, Detroit, uh, uh, came from behind the four men's victory, but uh, up to this point, uh, after 42 or 43 games that we played, we are in first place, and it's better than being in second or third. What club do you think you're going to have to tangle with the most down the stretch? I have no idea. The one thing we know in baseball is that if you go out on the field day in and day out and do the things that uh, you're capable of, and uh, if you pick the right 25 guys, you're going to be in the race at the end of the year. How would you compare this year's pitching staff to the last few years? Never compared pitching staffs or players or teams in my life. Uh, each and every spring is a new year. What happened last year doesn't mean a thing. You could have won 110, 120, or 130, but uh, when you get on the field in five, the next season, everybody's zero and zero. And again, it all boils down to what uh, the guys you picked are going to do once they get out on the field and how many games they're going to win.
Where are you missed out? Let that stop your practice. Easy. I used to do this all the time, and um, I'm like, I'm thinking, what the fuck? Yeah! I'm gonna hit a big one. Put it down top of the pack. Big boys. Big boys are on the ground. Hey, can we do that? Yeah, we Take it either way, you know. Bye-bye. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, see you later.